Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and Hammer Productions Night. Tonight I will be reviewing Dracula Has Risen from the Grave, released in 1968. Dracula Has Risen from the Grave stars Christopher Lee, Veronica Carlson, Barry Andrews, Rupert Davies, Ewan Hooper, Barbara Ewing, Marion Mathy, and Michael Ripper. Dracula's Risen from the Grave is directed by Freddie Francis. Now, uh, Freddie Francis is another one of those great directors from Hammer, um, much like Terrence Fisher. Um, any film that he directed for Hammer was great. Um, this one was written by Anthony Hines, and it has the music behind it of James Bernard once again. So, I mean, it has all the makings of a great Dracula movie with Christopher Lee. And plus you have a great leading lady with the gorgeous Veronica Carlson playing Maria Mueller in here. And then you have her father is played by a great character actor, Rupert Davies. And uh, he does a great job as uh, Ernest Mueller, her father. He is, he is really good while he's on screen. You must swear to do what I have told you. I promise. You should swear by Almighty God. But you have denied yourself this. I hate the fact that they kill him off and he's basically replaced the, with the hero of uh, Barry Andrews. But I do like what they did with Barry Andrews' Paul, where he is, he doesn't believe in God. So he is the stuff that you normally would use to fight a vampire, like a cross or, you know, being able to believe in God and, and drive a stake through his through the vampire's heart. He doesn't believe in any of that stuff. You must pray. I can't. So, um, that adds a nice little chink in the armor of the hero where he has to regain his faith by the end of the film in order to vanquish Dracula. Um, this film is, uh, unlike a lot of the other, um, Hammer films, it wasn't produced at Bray Studios. It was produced at Pinewood, and, uh, it's apparent because the castle Dracula in this looks way different than it does in Dracula or Horror of Dracula and Dracula Prince of Darkness. But Christopher Lee is his normal badass self, though, as Dracula in this. He is really great in this. Sporting characters, as I said before, you've got Veronica Carlson's great. Um, Barry Andrews is pretty good. He, I've never seen him in anything else, but he's pretty good in here um, playing Paul. And I, like I said, I like that conflicted stuff that he has where he has lost his faith. He doesn't believe in God now. And he has to regain his faith in order to face down Dracula and bring him to the end. And, and that's what he does, basically. Um, so it's a really interesting... I don't think this is the best of the Dracula movies, but it is not quite... Um, I would say it's, you know, uh, close close to my favorite um, Prince of Darkness. But the way that Freddie Francis directs the scenes is pretty good here. The, the action sequences are pretty good. Uh, Dracula is seductive in this, like he was in um, Prince of Darkness. Uh, this the one qualm I had with Horror of Dracula. He, he wasn't seductive enough. He didn't feel like Dracula to me. But, um, yeah, this, uh, this is, um, one of the better of the, uh, Dracula films. 
In fact, uh, I think I'll give uh, Dracula Has Risen from the Grave. I think I'll give this one a... Eight point five out of ten. This is a uh, really good Dracula film. Great performances, like I said. Um, great leading lady with Veronica Carlson, um, and, and a really good uh, conflicted hero with Paul uh, Barry Andrews. So, what did you think of this film? Do you agree with my review? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this film. And, as usual, if you like this review, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, because it really does help this channel out a lot. Anyway, hope you will join me tomorrow for Action Movie Night. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.